Roboteers, stand by. In the pod, the class at boys, the Cromart, Steve Merrill and Ray Tate and ICU, Nick Pritchard, the captain. And they're on the left-hand side, GBH2, Mike Smith, the captain, Steve Dove with him and little Alex and the alien with Carl Asplin, the captain. In the arena for the house robots, Growler, Mr Psycho's pet and Shunt with a bulldozer. Three, two... Whatever happens to the Sacromalot team, they are great value, great fun, great showmen. And Stephen Ray, it would be great to see your machine down the pit. And oh ho ho, I see you can see no longer. Boggle eyed, they are no more. GBH is turned over. The alien has started well. GBH has righted in flamboyant style. This is a terrific melee so far. I see you back in the action, those sightless, but of course those eyes are only boggling for effect. The alien right in there and Sir Cromwell in the thick of it as well. They've never really lived up to their sheen and preen. Sir Cromwell, can they do it this time? The alien self-right. There's a spinning hammer at the back. I couldn't pick a winner out of these four so far. Very, very close. I see you there onto the arena side wall. Depressing the pit release button. Almost inadvertently, they were shoved onto it. I see you, Zach. Comes out to Chrome and is flipped over. Can they sub? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love that. Looking on, Ray Tate. Looked mean and merciless, didn't he? Wouldn't like to cross him up there in that pod. Look at I see you. This is one of the closest melees we've had in Robot Wars, the sixth war so far. It is brilliant. Shunt comes out with the axe down, and I see you. Who also a little twitch of its own axe. There you can see the back of Steve Merrill, designer, builder, driver of uh, Sir Cromwell. He runs a video company. ICU comes back in with its own axe going down. There's the alien right at the heart of it as well with its own weaponry. Look at that. Shremek of GBH2. I'll be back, it says on the underside of ICU. I'm not too sure whether they'll be back from that, though. Can ICU write themselves 96 kilos? Mm, don't think you will be. Meanwhile, right at the heart of the picture, GBH2 is still trying to create more mayhem. The red bot comes across. ICU could be the first to fall. Then who knows? It may be a judge's decision to decide who else goes through. Steve Merrill looks on. The red bot about to count out. ICU. No more. They've gone. So, who else will fall? It's a chrome a lot. GBH2 or the alien. I see you into the CPZ for the final rights. The alien has a grip on Sir Cromelot. GBH2 with an enormous shove came in there. I see you's hopes tattered. Sir Cromelot trying to self right. Look there at the dent. Did you see it? In the truck wheel hub there. And I think Sir Cromelot, this has been their best robot wars for me. Hard teetering on the brink of oblivion. No, they could have self righted just in time. GBH comes in with another slam. Time is ticking down, of course. ICU's first appearance in Robot Wars has ended with them being counted down and out, but not with a final flourish from the floor flipper, of course. Bang and crash. With another little piece of an eye come off there. <laughs> to Cromelot. Top left, there you've got uh, the big GBH2. Little dome on top of the racing car effect. And it has been fast, it has been nippy. Could take on Le Mans there. You can see Growler at the bottom of your picture. The house robot's coming in, I think. Sir Cromelot's overturning the CPZ. Growler's going to dump ICU in the pits. <laughs> Gone not in a tries, but in a pool of smoke. And Shunt just came in to have a look. Sir Cromelot desperately trying to self right in the CPZ. I think the clock's going to help them. I think they're going to be counted to a judge's decision. They are with GBH2 and the alien. The judges will have to decide. <laughs>